There were five swimmers in the final of the women's 100 meters breaststroke SB5, including two from Brazil, Estefany de Oliveira in lane six and Lila Suzigan in lane four. Suzigan was aiming to win her second individual gold medal at these games. She'd already won the 400 meters freestyle. She had a clear lead as they approached the turn. Suzigan was on course to defend the title she won in Lima. And she was also on schedule to set a new games record. Meanwhile, the other four swimmers were in a close race for silver and bronze. Suzigan was swimming away from the rest. The games record she was aiming to beat was one minute and 59 seconds. Suzigan had been breathing every two strokes. She kept her head down for the last four and came home in a time of one minute 57.01 seconds. So it was gold for Suzigan, silver for De Oliveira, and bronze for Vianney Trejo of Mexico. Three of the five swimmers in the final of the women's 100 meters butterfly S10 were from the United States. Taylor Winnett was going to be one of the key competitors swimming in lane three. Winnett was swimming between two others from the United States. Rachel Keane at the top of the picture and Michaela Jenkins, who won this event at the Paralympics in Tokyo. Those three were heading to the turn in first, second and third places at 50 metres. Jenkins was in the lead, just over one tenth of a second ahead of Winnett. And with 25 metres to go, Maria Barrera of Colombia had moved into third place. The race for gold was between Winnett and Jenkins. Winnett was swimming in stripes in lane three. And at the end, it was Winnett who came through to touch first in a new Para Pan American Games record of 1 minute 9.35 seconds. Just over half a second quicker than Jenkins. So it was gold for Winnett, silver for Jenkins and bronze for Barrera. In the final of the men's 50 metres butterfly S7, Aidan Williams was swimming in lane six for the United States. Inaki Basilov was in five for Argentina. Carlos Serrano of Colombia in four, and Evan Austin of the United States in three. This was going to be a fast race. Serrano had the deepest dive and the advantage of going furthest in the kicking phase of the race. And when the swimmers got into their rhythm, it was Serrano and Austin who were out in front. This was just one length of the pool. Serrano swimming in the blue cap, Austin in white. Both of these swimmers had won gold medals at the Paralympics, Serrano in breaststroke and Austin in this event. But it was anybody's race going into the final five metres. Austin touched first, winning by little more than one-tenth of a second, with Basilov third picking up his fourth medal in Santiago. A great race, another Para Pan American Games record time. Gold for Austin, silver for Serrano and bronze for Basilov. There were three swimmers from Mexico in the final of the men's 50 metres freestyle S3. Jose Montilla was representing Venezuela. Daniel Chavez was one of the three swimmers from Mexico. The other two swimmers from Mexico were in the middle of the pool in the yellow lanes. Diego Lopez in a black cap and Marcos Zarate in red. As this was freestyle, the swimmers could choose how to swim. Some preferred to race on their backs. The race settled into a battle between two Mexicans, Marcos Zarate swimming in red, Diego Lopez in black. Zarate had made a good start, but now Lopez was overtaking him. Lopez had won this event at the 29 games in Lima and came through here to win, swimming even faster than before, setting a new Para Pan American Games record time of 46.88 seconds. It was his second gold medal in Santiago. Gold for Lopez, silver for Zarate, and there was a bronze medal for Chile for Patricio Lorenas. Brazil had three of the four swimmers in the final of the women's 50 metres freestyle S13. Raquel Viel was swimming in lane six, Lucilene da Silva in blue in five, and Maria Gomez was swimming in lane four. The fourth swimmer in the final was Grace Neufer of the United States. Once again, this was just one length of the pool, an all-out sprint, and a good indication of how strong the swimmers were is that they barely took a breath during the race because that would slow them down. 
Maria Gomez didn't take a single breath in the race. The visually impaired athletes would be tapped on their backs so they knew how close they were to the wall. And Gomez came in first in 27.18 seconds, a game's record and her fourth gold in Santiago. In second place, Grace Nerfer had also set the game's record for the S13 classification. It was gold for Gomez, silver for Nerfer and bronze for Lucilinda Silva.